Mohon maaf, absennya galet, Pak. Ya, nanti diulang saat akhir per perkuliahan ya, Mas, ya. Oke okay, everybody, uh, good morning. Hello, do you hear me? Hello, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Oke. Okay. Yes, sir. Oke, okay. oke. Okay. Let us uh, start our lectures. Oke. Okay. <clears throat> no, uh, I would like to say about thing philosophy that i i have talked about that uh, next uh, yeah, uh, next week okay oh last week sorry last week <laughs> last week think philosophical one thinking radically do you remember that thinking universally things conceptually and so on and so on and so on And the last one thing, responsible thinking. Okay. <clears throat> Now I would like to talk about branches of philosophy. So there are a lot of branches in philosophy, but why it uh, have some sort of branch of philosophy? Because there are a lot of philosophical problem. Okay because there are philosophical problems, then there are uh, branches of philosophy. Okay? There are six main type of philosophical problem. So the problem in philosophy, you have the issue of being. Keberadaan, I think we call it being of being because being is ada in Indonesia, okay? So the issues of being, of being, keberadaan, okay? Or assistance, which is related to the branch of metaphysical philosophy, okay? It's the issue of being ada, being of being, keberadaan. <laughs> okay, we call it as a, then uh, we have a branch of philosophical philosophy. Uh, sorry, metaphysical philosophy. Okay, and then there are also issues regarding knowledge or truth. Okay, knowledge or truth, where knowledge is viewed in terms of its content, is concerned with the branch of epistemology and truth in terms of its form is concerned with the branch of logic philosophy. So, <clears throat> from issues of being, then you have branch of metaphysical philosophy, issues of knowledge or truth, then you will get a branch of logic philosophy, okay? And then issues uh, about values. The values can be divided into two, the values of good behavior, okay? Then from this, we will get branch of ethical philosophy. And then the second, the values of beauty are concerned with the branches 
aesthetic philosophy. So because there are problem in philosophy, then we will get the branches of philosophy. So if there's a problem, then we will have principles and so on and so on and so on. So because because here because there is a lot of philosophical problems, then you will have branches of philosophy. Okay, because philosopher try to answer the pro that problem, then they have their own uh, uh, was it uh, answer. Then they have branches of branch of philosophy. Okay, so the point is there are a lot of philosophical problem okay but here they are on the three main type of philosophical problem from this then we have brands of metaphysical philosophy brands of uh, logic philosophy and then brands of ethical philosophy and then brands of aesthetic philosophy okay no i would like to talk about the problem of philosophy metaphysics the first uh, issues aristotle's term is prote philosophia prote philosophia in english we call it the first philosophy it contains the description of something that is behind physical as symptoms such as moving, changing, living, dying. Okay, so describe something. We are going to living, we are going to changing there and so on, so on, so on. Okay, so describe of something that is behind physical symptoms such as moving why uh, ada is moving why ada is changing why ada is living something okay so metaphysics can be defined as the study or thought about the ultimate nature of reality or existence Okay, and then uh, we can divide it by maybe two or maybe uh, two or yeah two yeah two or one a metaphysical problems can be divided into three, namely ontology issues cosmological problems and anthropological problems so what is it anthropological issues was it cosmological problem was it anthropological problem was it here i explain you ontology issues among others what is meant by being ada in indonesia existent being of being keberadaan keberadaan being being of being i think it's true but please indonesia is very easy keberadaan ada and keberadaan here being and being of being okay or existent how is the classification of being ada existence being being keberadaan or existence in indonesia extensi how is the classification of this okay and then what is the nature of reality or existence what is 
the nature of reality or the Pratan. Okay. <clears throat> and then second cosmological problem before ontological issues now cosmological problem okay. it is related to origin development and structure or natural composition including what kind of order exists in nature in Java, we have uh, Langit Sub B2. Okay, Langit Sub 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, I don't know. Most people say that, oh, it stay in uh, Langit Sub B2. In, in, in Java, I think, I don't know, in another, another uh, tribe. <clears throat> what kind of order exists in nature? Order in nature is like a machine or purpose, purposeful regularity. So order like a machine, you know, you have the machine, then you have the order how to use that machine. And also pur purposeful regularity. No order one, two, three, four, Colonel and Colonel and so on, so on, general, general and so on, so on. Okay. What is the effect of the cost and effect relationship? In Indonesia, we call it Papakifat. Because, you know, there, there is, uh, there has this, this then to be this. Okay. Because we see, we see that there is a uh, earth and uh, universe, I think, who create this, we call it God, okay? Spap Akbat, okay? So we call cause and effect relationship. <clears throat> What is time and space? What is time and space? This is the question about the problem about cosmological problem. So you have to answer this uh, uh, to solve this problem. This problem we call it cosmological or natural problem. So as a philosopher have to solve this problem. What kind of order exists in nature and so on and so on and so on, okay? Anthropological problems include how is the relationship between body and soul because you know, anthropological talking about the human, okay? about the human. So, how is the relationship between body and soul? In Indonesia, we call it as nyawa dan, how was it, uh, jiwa dan nyawa. Is it different? Badan, in Indonesia, badan, nyawa, jiwa. What is different about that? Okay. Or what's the relationship? Jiwa and Jiwa and Nyawa. What is different? Nobody said nobody say that yeah, he sakit jiwa. Okay, but not sakit nyawa is impossible. Okay, so what is relationship between them? Okay, so how is the relationship between body and soul? What is meant by consciousness? I think it will be very important if you are, we are talking about the artificial intelligence. 
Okay. If we are talking about uh, artificial intelligence, then consciousness. Is it possible that computer with uh, artificial intelligence have a consciousness? Uh, this is a problem in uh, philosophy. Okay. Because, you know, consciousness is uh, belong to the human. Okay. Not for uh, animal, not for computer, or maybe we are talking about the uh, other religion. They were okay, consciousness maybe in a computer. If we, then they try to uh, define what is consciousness in computer, then we will get an artificial intelligence. Human as free or unfree creatures. What do you think with that? So this is the problem in uh, philosophy and uh, enter in anthropological problem. Okay, so it's very, very difficult to answer. Then there are a lot of debated about this. Epistemology, second, the second problem of philosophy, also known as the theory of knowledge. The origin of the word episteme and logos, the theory of knowledge, uh, the origin of, it can be defined as a branch of philosophy that studies the origin or source, structure, method, and validity of knowledge. Okay, so epistemology is branch of uh, philosophy that studies the origin or source, structure, method, and validity of knowledge. Okay, remember in metaphysics, the main question is what is being? What is other? Okay. The philosopher asks, what is other? What is being? Other. What is it? Other. But in epistemology, the main question is, what can I know about other? how to prove that Atta is true, then we have uh, some sort of knowledge. What is the method to know about Atta? Okay? But in metaphysics, uh, the question is, what is Atta? What is Atta? Atta is blah, 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 blah. But in epistemology, what can I know about other? Okay, so it's quite different. Okay, so in epistemology, you have to prove the validity, the validity of other. Okay, then we have a knowledge or we have a science and so on and so on. Okay. Epistemology. The problem in ethnology are how can human know something? How can human know something? I think sometimes you use a, a method, okay? You use our brain to think, to imagine, and so on and so on. So, the way how to get, uh, how to know that thing. Where can this knowledge be obtained? How? Oh, where can this knowledge be obtained? So sometimes you make an observation, ex uh, uh, experimentation, and so on and so on. You will get, uh, you know, you will get the knowledge or science. 
Okay. Well, again, maybe from instrument or maybe from our eyes, eye, ear, and so on and so on. Okay. How can the validity of this knowledge be assessed? How can the validity of this knowledge be assessed? I think you choose um, uh, scientific method. Okay, scientific method. Okay. What is the difference between a prior knowledge and post priori knowledge? Priori knowledge, uh, <coughs> pre knowledge experience. Maybe, you know, sometimes we uh, think about something, then after posterior knowledge, because after you prove it using some sort of method, then you will get another knowledge. Okay? So, I think you can uh, answer or you can solve this problem. Okay? So, how can human know something? You have to solve this problem. Where can this knowledge be obtained? How can the validity of this knowledge be assessed? What is the difference between a priori knowledge with a posteriori knowledge? And then you have to answer about that if you will be a philosopher. Okay? <clears throat> And then logic, origin of the word locus. The origin of the word is locus, which means word, reason, theory, description. It is defined as a knowledge scale or tool to think straightly. Tool to think straightly so that the material object is thought. Well, the formal object is the straightness of thinking. Hmm. Remember, material object and formal object. Here, yeah. formal object is uh, straightness of thinking. Material object is thought. You have to think, and then you use it to think straightly. <coughs> Logic problem are this logic problem. What is meant by understanding? Understanding in some time concept or something like that. What is meant by the decision? What is meant by the in inference? What are the rules for concluding straightly? What are the two syllogism? Syllogism, you will get this word if you study about the, uh, uh, was it, uh, <coughs> logic, uh, information logic, mm, informatic logic or logic informatic. Okay, you will get this uh, courses in I don't know, maybe in this uh, semester or next semester or before. Okay. <clears throat> Syllogism. What are the two kind of fallacy? Fallacy, two kind of fallacy. Something fall. Sometimes you uh, descend something like this, then you implement it, but it's not running well. So maybe the, you design policy uh, for, so we call this policy. Okay. Then the third ethic. Ethic as a branch of philosophy, also called moral philosophy. The origin of the word ethic is ethos, which means character. Meanwhile, the moral or most, the singular and the plural, mores, habit, equal habit. The material object of ethic is behavior, 
or a human action that is get out consciously and freely while the former object of ethic is good and bad or moral and immoral from that we were ethical issues include uh, this is the problem what is meant to be morally good and bad what does moral consciousness mean? What are the conditions for an action to be said to be socially good moral? How is the relationship between freedom of will and immoral action, immoral action? I don't know, in Susila, so Susila, Susila, yeah, okay. Susila, asusila, immoral, or something like that. This is my question about that. What is the role of conscience in its human action? How is moral judgment different from that dependent on a judgment that is not moral? I think it is very, very important for us about the uh, about the ethics. That's why we have a course about uh, professional ethic, ethical professional profesi or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> It's important. Uh, I think you you must remember that because you know in in Java we have a very very high ethical attitude. If you are going to talk about something, please remember you are talking about your parent or you are talking about your friend it's quite different if you are talking about your parent then you will use this uh, language in Jeff we call it chromoingil but if you are talking about to your friend then then you use uh, you know just chromo you know because it's very, very important in Java about this one. Okay. But in, in, we don't have a present, future, or, uh, or uh, future, present, and so on, so on, like in English. Okay, we have we have uh, have had and so on and so on it at and so on and so on but here in java no if we say makan it's just makan not makan not makon not makon everything makan next week makan yesterday i makan Okay, now I'm makan. Okay, so it's very, very important if you are talking about ethical issues. <clears throat> no aesthetics, as branch of philosophy, aesthetic philosophy is also called the philosophy of beauty. Okay, philosophy of beauty. The origin of the word aesthetic is aesthetica, which means thing that can be perceived by the senses or aesthesis, sensory perception. Here, aesthetics, the study is about beauty and ugliness 
if ethic is about good and uh, crime, both are closely related to values, where ethic with moral values and aesthetic are related to non-moral but beautiful and pleasing to look at or beautiful and fun. In Java, we say setup because it look, you know, it look at or beautiful and fun, beautiful and setup. Very, very uh, important is it. So both aesthetics or ethic talking about the values okay the values ethic is about good and crime so what uh, good is this ethic okay and so on <coughs> okay <coughs> then aesthetics Issues include aesthetic issues include what is beauty. What do you think about what is beauty? I think it's very, very difficult to answer. Beauty is objective or subjective? I think in my mind, beauty is subjective. For me, my wife a beauty. Okay? Don't care. In Java, we call it Winko Kliat Katon Winko Katon Anchono. I mean, you know, it's very bad, but even though he see it's very bad, because you love them, you love her, then you will, yeah, it's beautiful. So it's subjective, objective. Please answer this, this, uh, this uh, question, this problem. What is the measure of beauty? What is the measure of beauty? Remember in Java, in Java, I don't know in English, I don't know in uh, Indonesia, Java. Uh, the hair, you know, hair rambut, nandan nandan in Java. Okay. And then, uh, what's it? Lambian, uh, if you walk, you move your hand. <laughs> so this is the measure of beauty. You know, lips in Java, kulo satempli. You know, but in, in, in English, I don't know. It's why I don't know. Okay, in Safa, that lot. So in Safa, you have the measure of beauty. You know, bangkean, nawan kemit. Okay, but in English, I don't know. I never, I never met that. Okay, never met that. Okay, so what is the measure of beauty? What is the role of beauty in human life? What is the role of beauty? Okay, it is just to attract to another people or <laughs> okay. How does beauty and truth related? What's the role between beauty and truth ah, you know this problem in 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 philosophy is very very 
uh, difficult to answer because you know that in uh, philosophy uh, uh, there are problems then you have to answer this and never ending uh, answer about uh, the problem in philosophy. Okay. <clears throat> No, uh, school of philosophy in Java, we, in Indonesia, we call Aliran. Okay, Aliran, school of philosophy, Aliran. Sometimes uh, Google translate by stream, stream of philosophy. But I think it better we use school of philosophy. The stream is, uh, you know, something like, water or you know water or electricity stream this problem raises three point of view namely this problem okay school in the issues of being school in the issues of being so from being from Ada, then you will have an a school, okay, a school, an aliran. <clears throat> okay, the first, the existence in term of number. The school about monism, monism. For instance, Alice say that everything comes from water. There's only one water. But Anaximander, Apiron, I don't know what Apiron, and Anaximander's uh, air, air. Okay. And then also dualism, all two, plateau, word of senses and word intellect. Uh, discuss this, the substance of the mind, the substance of the fastness. And then Leibniz, the real word and the word that is maybe even a kind word of uh, symptom and the word of intrinsic. So everything is come from two. Okay. Pluralism. Emetoclase, air, fire, water, and earth. Anaxagoras ruled countless by something whose uh, name is Nous. Leibniz monads that are infinite many. Uh, so you know, according to to uh, issues about being. Okay, then according to existence in terms of number, monism, monism, dualism, and pluralism. Okay, so each philosopher try to answer this. Some say, oh, only one, water. Oh, no, there is two, water and air, or then no, it water, air, and so on, so on, and so on. Okay. And then second, the existence in terms of properties causes flow. In terms of properties, before in terms of numbers. Now, in terms of properties, spiritualism, also called idealism, 
several meaning reality in this case is spirit the idealistic view which state it is absolute spirit the word of the senses as the word of ideas used in the religious world in belief in spirit as spirits <laughs> here roh and harwa what is different roh and harwa <laughs> So the existence in term of properties, yes, spiritualism, and then materialism. Okay. So spiritualism and materialism in term of number. Monism, uh, dualism, and pluralism. Okay. So, in terms of process, event, or chains, mechanism, or machine, or symptom can be explained on the basis of the mechanical principle. So the characters, the persons, the uh, philosophers, Leucippus and Democritus, nature can be explained based an atom moving in space blank. Okay. Galileo Galilei, the viewers of Leo Sibus et al. So, same as Leo Sibus. Descartes, matter is an extension and all the symptoms physical can be explained by mechanical term. It is a mechanism in terms of process, in terms of event, in terms of change. Okay, so mechanism like, uh, you know, process. Second, teleology. Tele teleology. Multi purpose. All natural occurrences are not of a cause and effect rule. Okay. So, all natural occurrences, all natural occurrences are not of a cause and effect rule. But from the beginning, there was a will or strength thing that direct nature to a destination okay so this uh, think about this think about this teleology all natural occurrences natural occurrences are not of a cost and effect rule bukan dari aturan sebab akibat hmm. but from the beginning there was a will from the beginning there was a will okay so it's quite different about this or strengthening the direct nature to a destination. The philosopher or character, a plateau determined between ideas and material, implies in the realm of ideas is the method of cause and 
effect energetic energetic tato aristotle understand reality it is necessary to understand four kind of causes is aristotle cause material cause to form cause to work cause to find uh, final so this is teleology multiple purpose okay. this is the stream or school in the question of being ada ada according to uh, Lato he try to think he, he try Plato distinguish between ideas and materials so if you're talking about ada as a material yes you see this as ideas is in your mind okay then answer tells to understand reality it is necessary necessary to understand four kind of causes so ada being ada okay to be to understand about that there are four kind of causes empat cause material the ingredient that make something exists ada ada ingredient the, the ingredient that make something exists exists sorry exists okay cause the form formal cause that make something it's a form Okay. Because of work that causes form, it work over the material. And then final cause that led to the goal slowly because of a change in place or motion. Okay, because you know, uh, here we are talking the aliran or stream or school in the question of being question of being question of ada what is ada okay so in uh, teleology and then in uh, the uh, uh, Theology, uh, tel teleology and before mechanism okay so the stream on school in the question of being of Agda what is Agda I think it's very difficult to understand because you know uh, it's very <laughs> difficult Agda what is Agda Okay, so ada is views in term of process, event, or change, mechanism, and so on, teleology, and so on. But in term of properties, materials, and it uh, materials and spiritualism. Okay. In terms of number, so soul in the issues of being. Okay. Soul, soul, aliran dalam persoalan ada. It is in Indonesia school in the issues of being 
there are existence in terms of being, in terms of numbers. And then the second, existence in terms of properties. And then existence is view in terms of process, event, or change. Okay. Okay, so if stream in the question of being. Okay. And then uh, next vitalism. Stream in the question of being vitalism. So it's an view of process, event or things, mechanism, teleology, and vitalism, and also organism. So please uh, make it uh, easy to understand, because, you know, in uh, first school, or stream, Uh, yeah, rules in the issues of being, schools or stream in the issue of being, of other. Okay. Three point of view, namely the accident in terms of numbers, okay? numbers and then in terms of properties second and then the third in terms of process event or genes okay okay this is the school of stream in the question of being of Ada. There are three. Okay, there are three. Okay, <clears throat> in the first, uh, in the first, uh, excellent number, uh, uh, monism, dualism. Pluralism. And then the second, in the properties, spiritualism and materialism. In the process, mechanism, teleology, and vitalism. Okay? So, in teleology, Logi, you have uh, the person or uh, philosopher or characters, Aristoteles, Plato, and so on and so on. Okay, so they have their own idea. Plato, king of between ideas and material, Aristotle understand reality you have to know about four kind of causes okay vitalism that life cannot be fully explained physical chemical because they are different with the non-living so vitalism say that life cannot be fully explained physico-chemical physico-chemical because they are different with the non-living okay, because sometimes we say that our brain uh, is a phosphor or something like that 
So according to vitalism, that life cannot be fully explained physico-chemical because they are different with the non-living. The philosophers or characters and Adolf Edward Tris. Every organism has intelligence, that is the life principle. Okay, so according to Han Adolf Edward Tris, every organism has intelligence. Leji, that is the life principle. Henry Bergson called the principle of life with Elan Vital, which is the source of the cause of work and development in nature. The principle of life lead and regulates the symptom of life and adapt it to the purpose of life so that vitalism is often called finalism. Okay, so vitalism that uh, is the, uh, the stream in the question of being. So this is the third vitalism because in the second teleology in the first mechan in the first uh I said, in the first uh, no no let, let me materialism Hmm. Yeah, uh, mechanism, and then uh, teleology, and then vitalism. Okay, vitalism. This existence or being is viewed in terms of process, event, or genes. Okay. Mechanism, Theology, and Vitalism. Okay? And then fourth, Organism. Organism. Life is a dynamic structure. Aronis that uh, has a heterogeneous part, but the main thing is the existence of an orderly system this is organism something like organization they have uh, you know uh, uh, orderly system the system that have the order okay okay now uh, stream in knowledge problem in knowledge problem. Okay, stream in knowledge uh, problem. Before stream in the question of being. Now stream in knowledge problem. Okay, before we talk about the school of uh, question of being, so the question of Adha. So there are a lot of souls, okay? A lot of soul or stream. If we are talking about the question of Adha, of being, no, no stream or School in knowledge problem before before the problem of asking about the being. 
Okay, before we talk about the question of being of Ada. Now we are talking about knowledge uh, uh, stream or school in knowledge problem. Okay. A. Knowledge issues or problem related to knowledge sources are answered by the following school. Here, one. First. First. Stream in knowledge problem. First, knowledge issues are problem related to knowledge sources. Related to knowledge sources, sumber pengetahuan, are answered by the following school, following aliran, following stream, rationalism, empirism, realism, and criticism. Okay, so this is the answer about knowledge problem okay. which are related to knowledge sources streams in knowledge problem related to knowledge sources so the source of knowledge so there are there are uh, four source rationalism empirism realism and criticism okay And then the second is the essence of knowledge before is the source of knowledge, the sources of knowledge. We have rationalism, empirism, realism, this is, um, this is because we have the sources of knowledge. Then the essence of knowledge, the essence of knowledge, idealism, empiricism, positivism, pragmatism. This is the essence of knowledge before, before, is the sources of knowledge. Okay, sources of knowledge, they have a uh, school of rationalism, empirism, uh, realism, criticism, but according to the sense of knowledge, then idealism, empiricism, positivism, and pragmatism. Okay. And then stream or school in the issues of values before before school in the issues of knowledge. Okay, stream in issues of knowledge or stream in or in a knowledge problem. The second first stream in the question of being, stream or aliran or soul in the question of being, and then no dream in knowledge problem, then stream in, in issue of the value, okay? or ethics. A. Ethical idealism. There is 
a scale of values, moral principle, or rule for action. Prioritizing spiritual thing. Prioritizing spiritual thing. In Indonesia, we call it kerohanian or mental from the senses of or material. Prioritizes moral freedom over psychological or natural requirement. Prioritize Right, I think in the general over the thing, the special one. This is ethical idealism from the school in the issues of values. Yeah. <clears throat> Then ethical idealism, then now ethical deontologies. Ethical deontologism. Adopting that an action is considered good without being linked with the value of goodness of something. Said Adopting that an action is considered good without being linked with the value of the goodness of something. The basis of morality is obligation. An action is said to be morally obligatory regardless of its consequences. Ethical deontology is opposed to axiological ethics. The ontology is also called formalism or intuitionism. And then see the teleological ethic, it is part of axiological ethic ethics based on values. And then the last one is hedonism. Hedonism, hedonism, and then the last is utilitarianism. Okay. So this is the philosophy. I think it's very, very difficult to think about that because you know, philosopher always ask something is very, very difficult to answer. Okay. So I think it's very, very important for this. So I think, uh, you know, this is a philosophy. Okay, this is a philosophy. So from Yes, then we have the School of Philosophy. Okay. Okay, so, let's see, see again. Yeah, branches of philosophy. It happened because because they are a physic a philosophical problem because there are a lot of philosophical problem okay then we have a branches of philosophy so they are a philosophical problem Masalah filosofis 
and you have to answer or to explain about this problem. Okay, according to this book, there are the main type of philosophical problem. I think more than she, I think. But I think she of them are very important. Okay. So, uh, issues of being. Issues of being. And being of being. Okay. In, Jav in, in, in Indonesia, we call it Adda and Kepradaan. How do you do explain about ada? What is ada? Okay. And then the second is issues regarding knowledge or truth. You have a knowledge. You know about the truth. What is truth? It's not hope, but truth. You have explained about what is it? Knowledge or truth was it? And then issues about values. The values. Then what is beauty? What is beautiful? And then what is the uh, immoral and moral? You, your action is immoral. Your action is moral. Is uh, follow the moral, the the moral, and so on and so on. So this is the issues that you have to know as a philosopher. Okay, okay. So according to this problem, then we have branches of philosophy. Okay. Why it is a, it, it, a, it is a branch of philosophy heaven. Why? Because they are philosophical problems. They are physical, philosophical problems. So according to this, then we will have, we, we have a branch of philosophy. So branch of philosophy uh, rise because they are a problem in philosophy. We call it philosophical problem. We mention three of them. One, two, three. Okay. Issues about being, then you will have branch of me metaphysical philosophy. If you talking about knowledge or truth, then we have a branch of logic philosophy. If we are talking the values, then we have a beauty and moral. Okay. Okay, branches. So the problem of philosophy. Let us talking about the problem of philosophy. Let's make a branch of philosophy because of this, of the problems of philosophy, then you will branch of philosophy. So what is the problem of philosophy? One, metaphysic. Okay. And then second, second is uh, I see. Now we see 
the second is Andraki Prachi. Second is epistemology. Okay. Oh, yeah, epistemology, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just think uh, the problem of philosophy. The problem of philosophy, the problem of philosophy. Oh, the problem of philosophy. Let's go to philosophy. Philosophy, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we have a school of philosophy. Okay. School of philosophy. School of philosophy. School of philosophy. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, uh, thanks, uh, when it's about that, then you have to uh, to make it school of philosophy, and, and then uh, school of philosophy, we have one, two, three, four, yeah, okay? School in the question of being, school in the question of, uh, what's it? Uh, knowledge problem and then so was it school of philosophy in uh, issue of values and so on okay and then we have ethical deontologism and so on and so on and so on and the last one is uh, last one is uh, here the last one is you you uh, let's see, yeah, utilitarianism, hedonism, knowledge, knowledge problem, knowledge issues, idealism, empiricism, Western pragmatism, ethical idealism, there is a scale of values, and so on, and so on, and then Theologism, and then theological ethics, and then uh, hedonism. What is hedonism? Hedonism, hedonism, hedonism encourages human to achieve happiness based on enjoyment, pleasure. This is. Uh, School in issues of values. Hedonism. 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 Encourage humans to achieve happiness based on, on enjoyment and pleasure. Proponents of this school were Chiranais. Nice. Who adds that the good life is to increase enjoyment through sensual pleasures and intellect. On the other hand, Epicurus states that pleasure and happiness are the good for human life. Epicurus does not recommend that human pursue all pressure that are compatible with intelligence. Joy, excitement of mind is higher than pressure of body. So, hedonism is uh, encourage human to achieve happiness, peace, and enjoyment, and pleasure. Hedonism, but utilitarianism is a few which state that a 
good action is an action that causes the greatest pleasure or happiness for human as much as possible. Utilitarianism. Hedonism encourages human achieve happiness based on enjoyment pleasure. Ethical counterism happen that an action is considered good without being linked with the value of goodness of something. The basis of morality is obligation. An action is said to be morally obligatory regardless of its consequences. Ethical deontology is opposed to axiological ethics. Ethic based on value theory. Deontology is also called formalism or intuitionism. Okay, and then the second, okay, the, the third, theological ethics, it is a part of axiological ethics, which make the provision that the goodness or truth of an action is entirely dependent on an objective or outcome. A, then fourth hedonism, and then uh, fifth utilitarianism. First, first ethicalism. First ethical idealism. There is a skill of values, moral principle or rule for action. Okay, the skill of values or rule for action. So this ethical idealism is very polite, impolite and so on and so on. So they are a skill of values, moral principle or rule for action. If you your action something like this, it's not good. Yes, you can do that because it's a, maybe not so good, but it's enough for you to make that action. But in this action, it's very good. Okay. <clears throat> Prioritizing, prioritizing spiritual thing or mental from the senses or material, rohanian. Okay, if you uh, give a lot of money to the few poor people, then it's very good, it's very uh, was it prioritizes moral freedom over physical, psychological, or natural requirement? Prioritizing the general over the thing, the special one. Okay, this is ethical idealism. Okay, if you always give every uh, poor people, then you are very, very good ethic. If you uh, give food for, you know, for homeless people, then you are very, very uh, high in action as 
addict. Hedonism is like that. Because it is an idealism. Then second, ethical deontologism. Okay. Is opposed to axiological ethics. Okay. Call for amnes or into cynism. And then theological ethics and then hedonism and hedonism, utilitarianism. Okay. So this is the same uh, the stream or school in the issues of values okay this this is a rule in the issues of values you know hedonism uh, ethical idealism ethical ontologism ethical Ideological ethics, hedonism, utilitarianism. This is the stream or school in the issues of values. Okay? But in the stream or school in knowledge problem, what's it? Uh, knowledge issues. Related to knowledge sources, and then uh, the essence of knowledge. Okay, this is a uh, stream or school in knowledge problem, and then also the stream in the question of being of other okay there is uh, the question of being. there is a uh, what's it existence in terms of numbers okay because you Somebody asks you about what is other, what is being, oh, according to in terms of numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on. In terms of properties, in terms of process, and when, or change, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 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 Oh, it, I am up. So I would like to finish it. If you are going to copy this and out, please ask to my assistant. Okay. Okay. Any question? Hello? Any question? Hello? No question, sir. No question. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, till next week. Next week, I would like to talk about uh, maybe a uh, computer or something like that. So. Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Uh, where do we submit our uh, first task? Oh, please uh, uh, submit to my assistant. Di mana mas? Kalau tugas pertama. Ke apa? Semester. Ya, please submit in semester. There's no place to submit the task, sir. Pardon my. In semester, there's nowhere to submit the task in semester. Last Tidak I checked. Tidak ada itu. Ada yang nggak ada. Gimana? Coba. Silakan. Gimana mas? Begini ya. Tempat untuk ngumpul tugasnya tidak ada di semester. Jadi e learningnya itu. Oh ya ya ya. Sebenarnya tanggapan yang saya perlu terangkan.
Oke, okay, terima kasih. <laughs> because sorry, I don't know. I don't know about how to because I don't have uh, password to enter to this this system. So the system belong to assistant. So I, okay, I, I okay. just yeah, I just bring uh, the flash disk and the content then head out in the flash disk. This is uh, the assistant's uh, computer, so I don't I don't have. Okay. okay. okay? So I'm so sorry, because I can explain for them. <laughs> you know, actually, uh, uh, I talk about, uh, I, uh, I'm not in my house, because I, I'm in, uh, in the classroom. And then I borrow uh, my assistant's computer. So, so I'm sorry because you know because I already uh, pension, so I don't have uh, uh, what's it a password to enter the system. Okay, so I'm sorry. You may ask to my assistant. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, till next week. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Sir, excuse me, but some of us haven't uh, uh, taken the attendance. Nanti kau ingat kopi ya ini nanti kalau nanti kang kita situ yang kirim aja ini saya tampil saya tampil ini.